hi guys welcome back to your girl patra zone welcome back to another video thank you for tuning into my channel how are you guys doing today i hope you are having a wonderful day as usual remember in all you do to stay humble and put god first so guys as you can see i am in my kitchen so today i am going to cook up a storm i'm going to cook a meal for you guys so i want you to watch this video video all the way through to the end and see what your girl Patra prepared for dinner it's Sunday um, so today I'll be preparing rice and peas with country style chicken if you want to know what that is stay tuned and watch and see how I prepare my country style chicken and I will also be doing some vegetables I'm not sure what type of vegetable I'm doing as yet but stay tuned and see what I decided to do. So thank you again for clicking onto this video. Please leave a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned and watch this video all the way through to the end. It's not my time yet. It's I. Bye. No, say hi. Say hi. Bye. It's not my time as yet, Kalisa. Mommy just started bye. the video, so we are gonna cook, okay? We are gonna cook. You are saying bye, but mommy is still here. Yes, guys, so stay tuned and watch this video all the way through the end. And first thing I'm going to start is the peas. So I'm going to put the peas to pressure, and then I will season my chicken. So I'll be using this peas. It's new pot. So I'll wash my peas. With Guys, tell me what you normally have for your Sunday night in Jamaica. Um, you know, I am from Jamaica, so traditionally we have rice and peas. The rice and peas is our traditional meal for Sunday, along with something to do upscale, fried chicken, curry goat, um, beef to beef. Yes. I'll be doing rice and peas with country style chicken. Stay tuned and see how I prepare my country style chicken, guys. So I'll tell you step by step the process. So peas is all clean now. So I'm going to cut some water in it. I like to add garlic to my peas when it's cooking, so I'm going to put some garlic in. Okay, so leave it. Leave it, baby. Oh. I'm gonna wash my garlic down. Before I put them in the pot, I'm going to crush them a bit. The pressure cooker is floating, guys. I'm going to select pressure cook on it. What is this? And it's already set at 30 minutes. That's where I want it. So the pressure cooker is on, it's sealed, and it's I'm gonna leave the piece to pressure for 30 minutes. So while the piece is pressuring, guys, I'm now going to, I'm going to prepare my country style chicken. So first I'm going to wash my chicken yes so i just took my chicken from the fridge it was in the free i took it from the freezer since last night so it's all thawed out so now i am going to wash my chicken guys first i'm going to wash it with some water and then i will wash it with some vinegar i don't know what's happening outside see as if it's snowing Oh, because it's country style chicken I'm preparing, I decided to just use some chicken, some drumstick for it. I'm 
gonna wash the chicken off now with some vinegar and then I'll rinse it again with some water. Is it snowing or it's actually wind blowing the snow from the roofs? It's snowing. It's snowing? Yeah. Oh. I know it's windy also. So now I'm going to wash all this vinegar from the chicken, guys. I'm going to give the chicken another rinse. So the chicken is all washed up. I'm going to add the powdered seasoning first. Um, and then I will be cutting up onion, garlic, pepper, scallion, and thyme to add on it. But I'm not going to put them on now. You will see when I put on those cut up seasoning on it. But before, um, for these powdered seasons, I will add them now. My salt and my all purpose. And some salt and purpose. Yes, guys. So I'm gonna add some salt. I just put a tops of this and a tops of that. If you understand what that means, I know Jamaicans understand, huh? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, guys? So, not a lot of salt. And then I'm going to add a tube to all purpose. A little bit of all purpose. Real Jamaican will understand what I'm saying here. We don't use measurements. There you have it. Okay, also, I'm going to add some allspice pimento. But before I, I'm not going to put them in like this. I'm going to crush them. So there you have it. A couple of seeds. And I'll be using this to crush. Very nice. And then I'll be adding this to my chicken. If you know what country style chicken is, just comment below and let me know if you have prepared country style chicken before. And if this is how you prepare it. And if not, how do you prepare your country style chicken? So now I'm going to rub in my seasoning. I do not use a lot of powdered seasoning, guys. Leave this chicken to marinate a little before I put it on the stove. Okay, guys? Yes, guys, so while I'm cooking, I'm also cleaning up. I don't like to see a dirty kitchen. So whenever I'm, cook, whenever I'm cooking and I don't have anything to do with really cooking part of it, I clean up as I go along. So that's what I do. <laughs> yes, guys, so now the peas is here. I'm about to start crush. I can hear it bubbling inside. And then... I'm going to leave the chicken to marinate before I put it on the stove. So while that is happening, guys, let's talk. Yes, I have my Christmas decor to get done. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but we're going to get that done sometime this week, guys. It's snowing outside, if you can see. It is actually snowing now, and it's very windy out there. So the snow is blowing all over the place. Yeah, it's gonna be a white Christmas for sure. There's no doubt about that. I think last year it starts snowing from October. Halloween. Remember last year Halloween, I think? Or it was the year before? But the year before it was COVID, so I guess, I don't know. It didn't even matter because everybody was home. All right, so yeah, it's actually snowing now. Look there. You can see that, guys, right? Yep. <laughs> I will be doing my Christmas decor soon. So just stay tuned for that video. The kids and I will be decorating. All right, so the peas is in the pot. I'm giving the chicken about five more minutes to marinate before I go ahead and put it on the stove. So guys, go ahead, share this video with your family and friends. Tell them about Patra Zone. Share this video with all your friends and family. Share it on your Facebook page. 
share it on your instagram page wherever you can share it share it in your whatsapp group share this video and let your girl patra get some views on this video and i thank you all my viewers and subscribers continue to watch my videos continue to share my videos continue to show your support i really appreciate you guys i don't know what i would have done without you if you are new here welcome 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 and i hope you stay and continue to watch your girl patra video so guys i'm still in the kitchen the video is not finishing as yet what i'm going to do now guys i'm going to cut up my spices cut up my season my onion my skelly and my thyme my tomato and my garlic come along let's go back in the kitchen i'm gonna cut up my seasons and in my cutting board again that i just washed so i'm getting my onion and my scallion my thyme so i have some of these in the fridge already Yes, guys, I'm gonna wash my skeleton and thyme. So here I finished cutting up my seasoning for my chicken, so I'm gonna let it stay here for a bit. So the first process in my country style chicken, after seed washing and seasoning, is to fry it. I'm going to fry it. I'm not going to put any flour on it. I'm not going to flour the chicken before I fry it. I'm just going to fry it as is and then you will see the next process. Okay guys? I want to do a giveaway on my channel. I am thinking of doing it as a live video. But I'm not just going to give things away just like that. I will be asking some questions. Mostly it's I think I will base the question on my channel and some of my videos that I have done in the past. And also, um, so the question will be based on geography. So I'll be asking some geographical questions, and I'll be asking some questions um, from videos that I have done in the past. So if you know anybody who is willing, in, especially if you are from Jamaica, or you know anybody in Jamaica who, who would want to receive some credits for their phone, tell them to stay tuned to Patra Zone. Go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for my live giveaway um, video where I will be giving away credits to my fellow Jamaicans. So tell them about Patra's own guys and let them subscribe and stay tuned for that video. And they have to watch my previous video so they can know a little more about me because some of the questions that I will be asking will be based on the videos that I have done in the past. And I will also be asking some questions about um worldwide geography so stay tuned for that video guys where i'll be giving away some stuff and if you're in canada close to where i am i also will have something to give away to you too christmas is coming it's, it's a surprise so stay tuned and look, look out for that giveaway video guys it will be a, in the form of a live video so stay tuned for that Yes, guys, I think my pot is hot now. It's not a lot of oil because I'm not doing deep fried chicken. As I said to you, I'm doing country style chicken, so I don't need a lot of oil to fry the chicken. The next type of chicken I'm going to do for you guys, next time I'm going to do another type of chicken, I'm going to do um what they call it barbie fry yes so if you know how to do barbie fry let me know but i'm going to do barbie fried chicken for you guys so you can see how i do my barbie fried chicken yes uh i don't know if lately i'm not really into chicken like that but i don't know what to eat i don't like beef i don't like i don't i i have to eat like curry goat when i feel for it um same thing for oxtail i'm not really a fan i used to like oxtail but i don't know 
since I'm in Canada, I don't like oxtail. I, that is why I continue just eating chicken, 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 and I'm so tired of it. I'm waiting on the oil to get hot so I can put my chicken in. All right, so I think my oil is hot now. So I'm going to put my chicken in my pot to start fry. And then I'm not going to fry all of it. So this is what is left of came of the um from the chicken. So I am going to add vegetables to it. I'm gonna use all of this again. This is my vegetable. While the chicken is frying and medium eat, I'm going to go clean up again. Wash up my cutting board. The chicken is in the pot frying. Um, I'm not going to fry too dry because it's not french fry and green so this is the way i prepare it and you'll see the after i fry what the next thing that i do just know again all right i'm gonna talk some part one now and i don't know i know say some of my viewers are not jamaican but i am going to talk some part one and i know some of my viewers are not jamaican but if you do understand what I said, I'm going to say about two or three. If you do understand what I said, just translate and leave it in the comment and tell me what did I say in English. It, it has snow now. I can't believe it really starts to snow again. Mm, what did I say? What did I say, guys? What me say? Tell me what me say. Tell me what I say. The place I get dark. The place I get dark. <laughs> we don't say dark, we say dark. The place is getting dark. Translate to English and let me know what I said. If you understand my Jamaican language, let me know. Today is Sunday and traditionally, um, as I, you know, I am from Jamaica. Traditionally, our our meal on a Sunday is normally rice and peas. I know some other country call it peas and rice, but we say rice and peas, or some people may say beans and rice and rice and beans. But it's rice and peas for us, so that's our traditional meal. So some person may do it with fried chicken, curry goat, oxtail, um, stew beef. Or even fish, and in Jamaica, normally sometimes on Sundays we do multiple meat. So we do multiple protein. We do fish and chicken, or we do oxtail and chicken, fried chicken or curry chicken, whichever. Um, yeah. So if you are not from Jamaica, let me know in the comment what is your Sunday traditional dish. If you are from a different country, let me know if you're if you have a traditional dish and what it is and where you are from okay i'm just trying to get the chick let the chicken get some color before i continue the process all right guys so now that the chicken has gained the color that i want next thing i'm going to do is to i'm going to add some water to this Then I am going to add this to the pot to the chicken. And then it's gonna cook down with all the seasoning and the spices together. Guys, I'm going to allow this to cook down and I'll show you when it's finished. You'll stay tuned to see what it looks like, okay? The peas are ready. They're pressured in less than 30 minutes. I'm going to transfer from the pressure cooker to a regular pot. I'm not going to cook the rice. I could cook the rice in this because it's a rice cooker as well. So I'm going to transfer the peas into this. 
and prepare my rice in this. First and foremost, what I'm going to do, I'm going to season my peas pot. So I'm going to put scallion and thyme along with a pepper, scotch bonnet pepper. So I'm going to use a green scotch bonnet pepper or not so green. I'm going to add scallion and thyme to my rice pot. And also, guys, I'm going to add some allspice pimento seeds. I'm going to crush the allspice seeds. I'm going to wash my thyme, my scallion, and my pepper before I put them in the pot. So I'm adding these to my rice pot. Washing my scallion. Giving my scallion a little crush before I add it to the pot. I want to add it to the pot. I don't need to cut it off. We'll just cut it in two. And I'm going to put some pimento seeds. I'm going to crush them a bit as well. Add them to my peas pot. The next thing I'm going to add to my piece pot is some salt. Not a lot, just a tip of salt, a little bit of salt. And I'm going to stir that for a bit. The next thing I'm going to add is my coconut milk powder. So this is the coconut milk powder that I use. Um, you can if you want, you can always mix your coconut milk powder with some water. I'm just going to add this to my peas water because I have a lot of water inside of it. So it will dissolve in my peas. I'm not going to mix it in any water because I have enough water in my peas pot for it to dissolve in. And it's going to dissolve good enough before I add my rice. So nothing is going to stick. So while uh, the next thing I'm going to add to my peas pot is some margarine. You can use oil if you want, but I'm going to add some margarine, about a spoonful. You know I'm using a fork. I'm going to add this. Now I'm going to wash my rice. Cup. That's one cup. Two cups. Okay guys, I'm washing the rice again. I love to give my rice a proper wash. 
gonna add a little ketchup to my chicken. So this is what it looks like guys, so creamy and nice, so the rice is added to the peas. Uh, my scallion, my pepper, my thyme is here. And I also added some salt, coconut milk and some margarine. So that is why it's so creamy and nice. So I'm going to allow that to cook, allow the rice to steam. And here you have it, our my country style chicken. It's all ready. It's all falling apart. It's overcooked. So it's good. So it's all ready, guys. So I'm going to turn the stove off now for my chicken. I'm going to turn the stove down so the rice will start to burn. While the rice is cooking, I'm going to prepare some vegetables. I'm going to do some cold slaw. Um, for the coleslaw, I will be adding using the rancher's choice. I will also be adding a little, oops, a little bit of vinegar, and I'll show you guys. So, cabbage and you know the cabbage, the carrot is lost in yeah. this thing here, but easy work. I want to add some rancher's choice to this. Then I'm going to add some vinegar, just a little, maybe a quart full. Spray it around a little more. A little less than a quart full now. Yep. And then I'm going to stir this to all together. in the fridge let it remain chill dinner is almost ready just waiting on the rice pot now we're going to have our dinner i'm super tired it's like i've been in the kitchen for hours so thank you guys for watching this video please go ahead and like share comment and subscribe to my channel guys and i'll see you in my next video in all you do stay humble and put god first have a wonderful rest of the day bye guys it's like